Good evening, everyone, and welcome here to Talladega as we get set and ready for round 30 of the schedule. And this race is going to be big on the championship because Jeff James has slowly been trying to eat into the point lead of DJ Curtis. And as the field rolls off to complete their pace lap, the Yamp Motorsports team, who has done very well here at Talladega in the last few seasons, um, Chris Louvier won here for Yamp Motorsports in 2015, and in 2016, they brought home a win with James Silverfox. And this year, they, they have not went to victory lane yet at Talladega, but they came full force for this race weekend to try and pull something out of it. You got Jacob Hart and James Silverfox on the front row. Jacob Hart has not won a race this season just yet. He's trying to do so in his final season. Same with James Silverfox, but in his final season, trying to close out another win. Silverfox has won a couple of times this season. Behind him, Jordan Davis, Stephen Jenkins, Carson Scott, and a good run from Lake Nevins in his final season as well for a season that hasn't really gone that well for him. Another season that hasn't gone very well for some drivers like Eric Burton, starting back there in the seventh position, Eugene DeMax in the eighth spot. You got Ryan Acosta and Eugene DeMax, ninth and tenth. Sony Polo Award to Jacob Hart, but we're looking for our title contender, DJ Curtis, starting pretty much mid-pack. He's got a ways to go. And then Jeff James starting right beside him with Dom Caps in the mix. So they are all together. You see them. 15, 19, 12. All together as we get set and ready to come down to the start finish. It'll be 57 laps today. <clears throat> Who's going to win it? Pace car is in. Hart, Silver Fox. The front row for Talladega. The championship's on the line. It's bound to be exciting. Green flag is out in the air. and We're underway for racing. Onto the back straight away. The cars now fanning out three wide and maybe four wide in some places as they go three wide for the race lead. Eric Burton to the inside, bringing rookie Ryan Griffin, Jeffrey Lennon, Dylan Young with them as they come off of turn four. Talladega often brings big crashes where guys get racing too close together and it oftentimes brings out a wreck. And many times, Talladega and Daytona bring out different winners. Drivers that you usually don't see up at the front battling for wins. Dylan Young being one of them, and Malik Nevins, who is going into second position. Drivers you usually don't see trying to win races have a shot. Malik Nevins, who is, who is a Gorga homer for this race, qualified well. And look at him to the inside, getting help from Matthew Rodriguez as they're four wide behind him. Dom Caps has made do of these lap cars, or not lap cars, but made do of these cars very well. They're so close together. There they go. DJ Curtis is around. Jeff James is also involved. Sky Collins is spinning. He saves it. Crash already on lap two that is taken out. Stephen Paul III, our point leader, DJ Curtis as well. James Sorfox and Eugene DeMax. This is big championship implications. Just exactly what I was talking about in the pre-race. You needed to come out of here alive. And Curtis tangles with title contender Jeff James. There's Nick Mace getting a piece. Steven Jenkins, James Silverfox, Fisher and Common slam doors there. There's DeMax getting hit by Pollard. Alan Cavanaro, his last win has came at this track. He's not going to win it today. Bradley Bishop Jr. was involved. Hometown hero Scott Roush back there was in it. Malik Nevins, not Malik Nevins, but Matt DeLeo was in there. Hayden Klein has some damage. And some other guys as well. Pole sitters. Front row guys. Jacob Hart and Jacob, 
um, James Sorfox were all in it. Looks as though Luke Martin and Steven Jenkins was also there. The caution flag is out, and Malik Nevins is your race leader. As we're coming back to the restart, Nevins will lead us. His last Sony Cup Series win came all the way back in Season 18 when he won at Zenjoltis, which was a super speedway race. And Nevins out front. What a run by him because we're not used to seeing Nevins lead, and I can't even recall the last time I remember seeing even Nevins lead the race. But he is out front with some help from Matthew Rodriguez. But Cody Lamas looking to avenge his fallen teammate, DJ Curtis, who was involved in a wreck. Now, we do need to catch up on some things. Jeff James fell out of the race due to that incident. He is out of the running and will not be a factor. That is Carson Scott, but Jeff James will finish out of the race in 36th position, while DJ Curtis is still out there running, but he has a bit of damage. So, as it looks, the points that Jeff James gained on Curtis last race will probably even out to what they were before they went into two Sonoma because Jeff James gained about 10 points on Curtis at Sonoma. And now Curtis is gaining about that much back. So the big player here is Dom Caps because he made it out of there alive and is up front contending for a lead right now. If he can have a good solid day and do not get involved in any wrecks, Dom Caps could be right in the thick of things for this championship. Oh, four wide, looking nearly five wide for a second. Nevins got shuffled with Pasco, and that was very tight racing. Ryan Griffin momentarily went into the lead. Kyle Collins brings his Toyota Camry and will lead the charge here at Talladega. However, a battle for the lead. Sean Harple to the inside of Kyle Collins. And this is the, what I've been talking about when I started this race. How Sean Harple, guys like Harple that usually aren't up there contending for the win on a weekly basis. He can get up there and shine and capture his first career victory here today. Taking the lead in that Z-Line Toyota. Looking good right now. Anybody in this front pack of 19 cars has a chance to come up here and win this race. Anybody in this pack, they all have a shot. Talladega is random and anybody can get themselves up to the lead with some right moves at the right time. Cody Lamas picking up Levi Pasco to the inside. Gonna charge his way to second. But Harple leading the charge right now. Man, they are tight. Just four wide. Charlie Smith beating and banging on Andreas Allen. Oh, man, what is Dejon Weeks doing? Rubbing doors on Smith. Oh, trouble, trouble. There they go. Charlie Smith into Dejon Weeks. Spinning around. Charlie Smith back up the track. Dylan Young barely missing that one. Smith getting the worst of it. Tr Charles Sanford was in there. Andrea Salen went spinning. Dejon Weeks. Malik Nevins has a piece of it. Dylan Young does have some damage. The caution flag flies. And we're going to be under caution flag for that. Just, you're looking here. Just Dejon Weeks gives Smith a nudge. And he keeps coming up the track. And Dejon Weeks shoves... Smith eventually up into Jeffrey Finn guy and Charles Sanford, and they go spinning. Young gets a piece of Dilly, um, of Andreas Allen there, and Charlie Smith back up the track. But that was the reason for the caution. Coming back to the restart, we had a few cars come down and take pit stops. Harple, Pasco, Davis, Caps, Finn guy, Nevins, Allen, Curtis weeks they all stayed out and they did not pit kyle collins matthew Arriquez, and zachary fitzwater are the first guys that ended up not pitting there or actually that did pit so the leaders are starting to break away after some lap cars with damage or holding them up harple pasco caps and davis pull away problems for zachary fitzwater Look, he's radioing to his crew that he thinks he might have a flat tire for that 8 Toyota. He was leading that pack, trying to run down the leaders. And last week's winner is in trouble, Fitzwater on the apron. While these guys continue to race side by side, three and four wide in this big pack, the front guys are pulling away. Harple, Caps, and Pasco just running nose to tail. They are working together to make sure that they can settle it between the three of them at the end of it. 
They are staying in the line. Toyota, Ford, Chevy, nose to tail. They even pulled away from Jordan Davis. And these guys running side by side, they have the ability to run these guys down. But with them running three wide, these... Oh, and, Har and Klein's blowing up. He's out of the race. But with these three cars, actually really fast race cars running single file, they are actually stepping away from them, guys. Our lap cars with the leaders are going to determine who takes the lead here. Levi Pasco sees this as an opportunity to try and get out front and lead the race. Door to door with Harple. He's going to bring Dom Caps with him. And new leader here on lap 30 of 57, Levi Pasco. And Sean Harple is finding himself trapped behind the lap car. He's going to lose touch with the leaders if he don't get going in a hurry. And this is not what the front three needed because they do not need to be losing an extra car because that'll slow them down. Dom Caps wants to go after the lead now. And he's going to go to the inside. And Dom Caps goes to the lead. The front pack right here. They are now single file and they are running the leaders down. Jordan Fisher, Ryan, uh, no, Ryan Griffin, Jordan Davis, Andres Allen, and Malik Nevins are slowly catching the leaders now. The leaders do not need to be racing each other. I'm not sure why these guys are racing each other like they are. Levi Pasco, door to door with Dom Caps in a turn one. And Pasco is going to take the lead away. And they are going to bring Harple right back to him to bring a three car pack in this. But the leaders are starting to reel them in, but they are getting racy as well. Fisher trying to close in. He closed in a little bit that last lap. And now these guys, if they continue to race with each other, that, that, that pack will behind them will start reeling them in. But Pasco brings Harpo with him and moves Caps back to third. Our leaders are going three wide for the lead all by themselves. Harpo to the inside, Caps in the middle, Pasco on the high side. And it's going to be Harpo leading the way, taking the lead. <clears throat> the second pack back here just got done dealing with some lap cars. And they are getting lined up back again trying to run these guys down. Green flag pit stops are now underway. Levi Pasco has dived in on pit road. And he will come in for his only scheduled pit stop of the day. Dom Caps is also coming down pit road. He and Harple have made it down pit road now for their final pit stops of the day. Focused on our leaders as they exit pit road. This could be the race for the win because these three guys have played strategy to work their way up so far ahead of the main pack that they are the contenders for this win. Caps all by himself, but Levi Pasco coming with him and Harple. They're all still in contention of this, but with them separated, this is going to allow guys to possibly get a run on them, but they should get bunched up together here soon. Meanwhile, we still have a ways to go. We have 17 laps to go at the stripe, and these guys pitted whenever they had, um, when we had that caution flag, the last wreck that we had. So these guys have went a long ways on fuel. Can they make it all the way is the big question. Jordan Fisher, Kyle Collins, Charles Sanford, Jeffrey Lynn, Ryan Griffin, Cody Lamas, and also Matthew Rodriguez, they have all stayed out. The eighth place car is now Levi Pasco, who has just recently pitted. So. The leader is Jordan Fisher in search of his first win. Um, he's leading the way right now. When will he pit? We are being informed that Jordan Fisher, Kyle Collins, Charles Sanford, and everyone else that are still on the racetrack are a lap or two short on fuel that they have been trying to save fuel. So, can these Toyotas march their way to victory and save enough fuel? Fisher, Sanford, Collins are the front three. These are the guys that have pitted recently. They have pulled away from Sean Harple. So, if these guys do have to pit, it's going to come down to Levi Pasco and Dom Caps for the win. Pasco has not won a race this season. Athenian Motorsports has not won this season. Charlie Smith was close last um, time at Sonoma. But this team is the only team this season that has not won a race that did last season. And they are running door to door with Dom Caps. And this will be eventually the battle for the win if these guys run out of fuel. Whoa, trouble! Back in the pack! Jeffrey Finn guy, Carson Scott are around up in the outside wall. 
and the caution flag will fly. Pitch strategy will not be a factor. We're going to have to line them back up again. Caution flag waves with nearly 10 laps to go. As they come down to the tape, their pit stops. Jordan Fisher miraculously is not pitting. Everyone else says, though, I, apparently Jordan Fisher would have been good all the way on fuel. That's what we're hearing. Jordan Fisher was leading that race, and he stays out on the racetrack. So apparently he must have been good all the way on fuel because he's being told to stay out and lead the way. So... With this being under 10 laps to go, lap cars will not be able to line up beside the leader. So, Jordan Fisher will have these guys, the slow damaged race cars, all separating him. Look at the line of race cars that separate him and Levi Pasco, which is the second place race car. Jordan Fisher is living on a prayer right now, hoping that he has enough fuel. And with these caution flag laps, he should have enough if he was short by a lap or two. Kyle Collins, Sanford, Griffin, Lynn, Rodriguez, and Lamas, they have all came in to get some gas. Fisher, however, stayed out. Coming back to the green, some of the lap cars did pit, so it has eliminated some of that line that I was talking about. But three cars separate him and Levi Pasco, and Fisher is on the jump with seven laps to go, and he's got his teammate Malik Nevins down the inside, going to try and help him along. Here comes Pasco and Caps looking for a win. They have not won this season. Caps in the championship battle needs to get up there and do something. Davis trying to get a run. He's in the battle as well. But down the back straight away, Nevins trying to throw a block on Pasco, but Pasco has a run. And here comes Caps. Here comes Davis. Fisher way off the pace. Does not have a good run. And to the lead, Levi Pasco and Jordan Davis muscling his way to the inside to second place. And Fisher is really off the pace. I think he is burping that. And yep, he is down pit road now. And really held up a bunch of cars like Rodriguez. So Fisher had to come in anyway. Pasco holds the lead. Jordan Davis up in the second position. Dom Caps in third. Andreas Allen's on the lead lap. He's in fourth. Up in the battle. Dayton Weeks and Malik Nevins, they are not in contention of this. Griffin in fifth with Sean Harple trying to run these guys down as well. But a battle for the lead. Jordan Davis underneath the lead by Pasco. Davis to the lead at Talladega. Coming to the line. It'll be four laps to go. And the front four are single file pulling away. They are leaving Roy and Griffin behind. Griffin trying to hang in there. Trying to still be a factor. He is the fifth place car. But it is Jordan Davis. And they come up on lap court. Dylan Young. He's going to play a factor. How will he play a factor though? Dylan Young. In the way, Dom Caps to the inside, trying to get a run to the inside. Here comes his teammate, Ryan Griffin. He's back in the mix of it. Andres Allen getting held up. He had a chance to win, and it's not often he had a chance to win. He's out of the fray now. Allen way off the pace. Davis holds the lead. Dom Caps, Levi Pasco, Ryan Griffin, the front four. Coming to two laps to go, Jordan Davis has one more lap car to deal with, and he goes by him with ease. He's got a big gap back to second position, but lap cars are going to be in the way, and that's going to put Davis in a real good position to take this win, and he's kind of a sitting duck way out there, but I don't think they're going to be able to get a run on him. Half a, la a lap and a half to go. Dom Caps has moved his way into second. Jordan Fisher really held them up. And now Caps has left a try and run him down. The white flag is being displayed for Jordan Davis. Last lap here at Talladega. Dom Caps needs the extra points that the win gives you in the championship. Dom Caps has not won it all this season. He hasn't won in five seasons. He is in the draft of Jordan Davis. But Levi Pasco has a run on him looking low down the back straight away. I don't think they're going to be able to ha do anything with Jordan Davis. He's got a big enough lead. I don't think he's going to be able to... I don't think any of these guys are going to be able to get around him. As Davis rounds for home off of turn four. Coming to the Trioval. The front three get to racing each other. And that's all he wants to see. Davis bringing the field home for his third win of the season. And for his seventh win of his career, Jordan Davis takes home the win here at Talladega. Jordan Davis, he, 
He got aggressive on that restart, fought his way to the front, and just drove away with it in that last restart. And that big enough lead was good enough. He holds off Dom Caps, Levi Pasco, and Ryan Griffin. And then also Andreas Allen in the fifth position. But that's your top five. Jordan Davis bringing home his third win of the season and his seventh career victory. Let's get you to our finishing results and standings after round 31.